Now, we've been working on this, on this issue for six months. We started in January. Um, the situation is a bit sophisticated, if, if not complicated, because it has a number of different aspects. The legal one, uh, the human, and security. So we, first of all, tackled the issue of their legal status. We found out that there's no problem about them. There, there are no charges against them on behalf of the American government. They are suspects. They have been caught and brought wholesale from Afghanistan to Guantanamo. The problem is that they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Started to solve the problem on the legal level, so we, they have no charges against them. In, in Tunisia, they, had, they enjoy the amnesty, so the, the, there will be no charges against them when they come back to Tunisia. So they are free people, right? Uh, on the security level, we need to organize things with the United States. Uh, these are, they are not usual characters. They're Tunisians, and it is from that point of view that we went there to bring them back home because it is our duty as a government to take care of any citizen, whatever he is or, her, or she is. Um, the third element is about their social status. We need to provide for them um, all the possibilities of reintegration in, in society. We need to provide them with a job. We need to provide them with health care when they come back to Tunisia. So all that requires a lot of time and a lot of organization and cooperation with the United States. So when I went, when I went there, uh, at the head of a delegation of three people, we uh, had the opportunity to see the facilities, to see the condition of living uh, for, for the five detainees. And we had interviews with each of them. Each interview lasted 45 minutes during which we presented to them the situation in Tunisia, but they were fully aware of what is going on in Tunisia because they watched TV. So it was a good point. So we didn't waste time on presenting the situation here. Uh, we immediately tackled the issue of their psychological situation. What do they think? What do they feel? Um, to, to, to ask about their health. So we found out that they are in good shape physically at least. Mentally, they are really strong. Uh, uh, this is what made them cope with this dire strait. Uh, they are believers, and therefore they have a strong belief that is shielding them from, from being um, destroyed from inside. We expect uh, an American delegation to come to Tunisia uh, beginning of September in order to organize that. And hopefully, uh, I cross my fingers, hopefully that will be brought back home um, before the end of the year.